Hi YouTube, I'm super excited for today's video because it's that time of year again y'all. Black Friday and Cyber Week is upon us, all right? And your girl took some time and I perused our favorite sites and girl, I found the best gems for you. So if that's why you clicked on this video, keep on watching. Chichi and I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel and I'm super excited to share all of the finds that I found and I don't know about you guys but um I feel like there is a certain level of pride, there is a certain level of swagger that I feel when I not only found a good piece but I found it on sale. Okay, not only am I gonna be um, trying on these pieces, I'm also gonna be styling outfits for you guys. So if you like that, make sure to hit that like button. It lets me know that that extra step, that extra work that I do to put the outfits together that you find it useful. And I will continue to make more videos just like today's. All right, let's dig in to this Zara box. This knitted turtleneck skater dress, right? So I saw this dress on the site, okay? That's what she's supposed to fit like. And I had high hopes for it because it had stretch and one of the things I look for when I am shopping on Zara is to see if it's a knit, if it's a stretch. There's a likelihood that it may be able to give some and fit right. Which is why I always believe that you should definitely not be afraid to try new stores. I know it can be a little scary. So if something doesn't fit, you just, you just put it down and move on to the next thing because remember clothes are designed to fit you not vice versa okay if something doesn't fit that's okay you just move on okay to greener and better pastures all right so starting off with this gorgeous dress i loved the brown color i've been gravitating more and more to brown i love pairing browns with like pops of color like pink and kelly green a mustard etc etc so i saw this dress and then i saw this cardigan and i thought they would go really well together you'll see the cardigan in a bit okay <laughs> i would say this dress if you live in somewhere like chicago this would be a great dress because it's very nice thick, well-made ribbed sweater fabric, okay? It's supposed to be a skater mini style dress. Let me step back, okay? All right, so you can see this is pretty short, okay? And I have some Spanx underneath it. It does not fit on me, like really flowy, like it's supposed to fit like on a model. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the back. And as you can see, not exactly what we were going for, you know, when we chose this dress, okay? It did fit, I'm a size 18, and all my measurements and height and all those stats are in the description box below with, of course, links to everything. So verdict for this, I would give this a eight and a half, almost nine out of 10. The only issue is that it's just not the right size for me. So Zara, please let us know when you're gonna start extending those sizes, okay? Size inclusiveness is the name of the game now in 2021. Come on, come join the party, okay? Come join the party. So the next item I have for you guys is going to be this skirt. All right, now I have to be honest in saying that I may have played myself with this one just because when I saw this online on Amazon, it said one size fits all and I figured, okay, one size fits all. That means that it should fit from like a small to a extra large. Y'all, the waistband on this thing is not even wide enough to fit on my hanger. Like I had to pull it a little bit to get both sides to fit, okay? <laughs> now it does have, a, it's pleated, so it does have a lot of room to grow. So let's go ahead. <laughs> Y'all, I'm laughing because I love the color. It's kind of like a taupey champagne and I thought this would be a great way to add some sparkle to your holiday attire without adding sparkle, if you know what I mean. Like it's not sequin, it's, but it does have a metallic sheen to it that I thought would be really gorgeous paired with like a chunky sweater or a turtleneck. You know, something you could wear to like a work Christmas party, wear to church, dinner, etc etc you could even make this a little sexy by pairing it with like bodysuit like I thought this had a lot of potential until I saw how tiny this waist was so with that said let me go try her on and we shall see 
This joker actually fit. It actually went up the widest part of my hips, which I thought it would not go past. Okay, and it does not look horrible. I thought I was gonna look like I was stuffed into this. Now, the waist is a little snatched, okay? So if you're planning on, you know, indulging in food, I may not, I would not. Typically, I would not suggest this for you, especially if your measurements are similar to mine. See description box for my measurements. But overall, it actually fits y'all. I am pleasantly surprised. I love the way the skirt like drapes. It's just the perfect amount of pleating and like fabric and drape. I've been really into just like whimsical skirts like this. They kind of have some movement to them. So I love this this also was pretty affordable now I will say it took at least three weeks to get to me which is very atypical okay for Amazon which is where I got the skirt from and it does come in a couple of other colors I would say if you are a 16 14 you should not have issue again see my waist measurement I feel like my waist measurement is somewhere between a 14 16 um no let me say a 16 let me not let me not play myself if my waist measurement is around the 16 so if your waist measurement is around the 16 which is really where that's the only part of this skirt that's actually fitted then you should be fine again my hips are like a size that are about a 52 inch and this the waistband was able to stretch over it okay so bear that in mind so if you're thinking about looking for something that's fun festive that you can not only wear this year but you can probably pull out next year and the year after that because metallics really don't go out of style for the festive season then you can check her out okay quality wise is not bad it's not lined but overall for the price you're paying I think again that is the factor that really matters the most for what you're paying for this it's a good value this is giving me like something I would find at Shein so if you shop at Shein if you are okay with Shein quality you will be good on this skirt I just love the little extra pleated detail at the bottom the only thing that worries me with this skirt is probably washing so something like this I just take it to the cleaners I wouldn't even try to wash it because I don't know what will happen to the pleats if it goes into the wash aside from that she is a find if you're looking for something affordable and festive she will be linked for you in the description box down below okay these are wide calf boots they're about knee high honestly if these boots were over the knee I would just have fallen in love with them I have been searching forever for boots that fit like this there they fit tight going all the way up the calf I have very very skinny ankles and quite wide calves and I love that this is able to fit my ankles and my calf also at first I was didn't love the fact that this had a silver heel but honestly I'm loving it even more so it's safe to say that this season I have added more color to my fall and winter wardrobe like than ever so I love my neutrals for the fall and winter especially but I feel like adding a little bit of color really just adds that unexpected element to your wardrobe and so when I saw this gorgeous chunky oversized sweater I was like okay yes I need her and this is the perfect example of how you can you know punch up your neutrals during the fall and winter I just have a simple black base here just this cute little um, tank situation sweetheart tank situation happening with some high-waisted jeans and then I just threw this on and there we go I have gone from an all-black outfit to an outfit you know that's a little bit more unexpected and, and fun and what I love about this color is that I know that I can transition it easily into the winter and then spring as well so I picked up this chunky cardigan you can see it's super oversized I'd also pair this with a leather skirt as well or some leather pants I think that would work this color of blue goes really well with brown as well so you don't be afraid to incorporate some color into your fall and winter wardrobe it just you know it just adds something that is not typically there you can totally improve your mood and the mood of others by choosing color all right I'm wearing this in a size 18 I believe it has that woolly feeling to it so if you are someone who's sensitive to that kind of texture bear that in mind when it comes to weight I would give it like a it's not too heavy Heavy, but it's also not too light and I would give this an overall like a seven and a half for quality fit 
and value. So I'm thinking I may need to size down on her because she is quite oversized. And if you are having the same feeling as me, I would say definitely size down if you're in between sizes. Let me know in the comments below how you're feeling about her. Are you for adding color to your fall and winter wardrobe? And do you think I should size down on her? So the next piece that I picked up is going to be this gorgeous dress, right? So if you've been following me for 2.5 seconds, you know I kind of have a thing for mustard. And so when I saw this gorgeous dress, I had to grab her. I picked this actually up from Misguided. And I know Misguided always does sales for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. So if there is a coupon code for it, I will be sure to link it for you in the description box down below. They have different iterations of this type of style of dress. They have ones with like ruching on the side. They have this style with a little cow neck situation. And for me, it really was the color that sold me on it. This is more of like hewing. It's a mustard, but it's kind of skewing more green in person. So bear that in mind. If you have the signed by Blake pants, this color is very similar to that. You know what I'm talking about. So I love the little details around the bust for my girls who have a small chest details like this are like a one for you this dress i'm gonna tell you right now okay i received orders from nasty gal now this is gonna be my third order that i've received from nasty gal and i'm gonna tell you right now that they run big okay i got a size 18 in everything exception of the pants which i may actually i think i got them in 18 for the pants i got both 18s and 20s you'll see the pants i'm talking about their stuff runs big this is a size 18 like i said and i could size down to a 14 the way this fits me and if you're looking at me like girl the dress looks fine it does because I did a little hack okay I don't know I'm gonna turn around so I did a little hack, as you guys can see that I learned on TikTok. TikTok is teaching your girl. Anyways, actually no, I didn't learn that on TikTok. I learned that on Pinterest. So I did a little hack that I picked up. And so that way this dress actually has some shape and kind of fits me right. But I just wanted you to, you know, bear this in mind when you're purchasing the dress to size down. Okay, at least one size. And if your shape is similar to mine where you're smaller up top, I would say you could maybe get away with sizing down two times. This dress has no stretch in it it's like a faux satin style fabric so also bear that in mind so you don't want to go down too low because then it's just going to be tight in the wrong places when in doubt i always size up and tailor to fit let me know in your comments down below about this dress because y'all i was about to return it until i remember that i could do this little hack on it and i may still actually exchange it for a size down we'll see but i just wanted to let you put you guys on on this dress let me know in the comments down below is she a keeper yes no okay and let me know why all right <laughs> so to style her it's all about layers because of course it's cold you could do a matching turtleneck and do a tone on tone look or you could do like a cardigan or a jacket on top or you could also layer beneath okay either way kind of works with this style you could go a little bit tough and do a combat boot but honestly i wanted to pair her with these boots that actually sold out so and since i don't have those boots i figured i could also style her with these white boots let me know in the comments below how you would style her because you guys be giving me the best recommendations so either way i'd love to know if you should have gone with the brown boots or the white boots speaking of boots let's quickly talk about these white boots that i recently picked up you guys know that i have wide calves so finding boots are always a top priority to me because the good ones always sell out okay so if you want these white boots sis make sure you click open that description box and add to cart because there are very few places where you can find great quality on trend boots and so so they always sell out super quick. All right, so I saw these boots and I was a little hesitant because I think it came in blue, green, and white. And the name had something like shimmer or glimmer. And I was like, I don't want no disco boots. I only got the white boots, but I can tell you emphatically that the boot does have a little bit of a sheen to it, kind of like a vinyl. It is not glimmery, it is not shimmery. These are not disco boots. They have this faux croc embossing going through the whole entire boots. Things that I love about these boots is the fact that it has zippers 
going from top to bottom so you don't have to you know do any form of gymnastics to put them on they are wide calf I believe my calf circumference I think it's an 18 inch circumference but I will make sure to put it for you in the description box just in case because it's been a while since I measured and they fit me comfortable I also like the fact that they're not super high but they do have some height to them okay and then of course they have that little dip in the front so like an ode to like the cowboy boot sort of trend that we've been seeing there are actually a pair of shoots boots that I'm obsessed with that these boots kind of give me give me they kind of put to me they they're very similar only that those boots have a heel and if they would just make those boots for me okay <laughs> in a wide calf I would probably buy them in like three colors now I'm five seven I would say if you're shorter this boot will go a little bit further up your knee so almost like an over the knee type style if you're taller than me then it'll fit you probably like a true knee height and so if you're thinking about getting them this is literally the best time to get them because they still have some stock and they always do some great discounts so if there's a discount code I will be sure to include it for you in the description box you know what I'm gonna do I actually think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap up all the discount codes in a blog post so that you can easily just peruse you know copy the discount codes and all of that I hope you're as excited as I am okay so the third item I picked up from Zara is going to be this I would say multimedia top I was instantly attracted to the colors on it the greens the blues the blacks you can really pair this with a lot you can do denim leather pants I have on my sweater skirt here with it and it actually comes in some size range so I'm actually wearing it here with in an extra extra large and it fits so if you are a 16 small 18 this would fit you really comfortably because it has a decent amount of stretch in it I'm just you know doing what I always do by pulling up my sleeves but it's a great piece a great going out top and we cannot have enough of that this season especially if you have like you know Christmas parties girls night out just festive things planned you need tops like this in your wardrobe it also has this cute little cutout detail action happening here and those are all the good things all the things I definitely was considered this was definitely a keeper for me until the zipper broke as soon as I put it on it has an invisible zipper in the back you know I tried to zip it back up she was not moving so I'm hopeful that they still have this size in stock so I can grab her as far as she is almost she fits almost like a tunic to be quite honest like this is how long the top gets so it hits right at the you know the top of my hips kind of so she does give you a lot of coverage a lot of length if that kind of matters to you but I know I'm probably going to be wearing her with high-waisted things so I love that you can see a little bit of the peak of the blue before the green takes over and yeah let me know your thoughts on her keeper not a keeper I love this little detail right here a little sad <laughs> that the zipper broke but aside from that I would say quality wise I would give her a six and a half just because of the zipper and the zipper doesn't even look cheap so I don't even know what happened but every other in every other category fit value I think for value I give her probably like a seven and a half eight but fit I would definitely give her like a nine so she's a solid buy if you were considering her because I've seen her on a couple of girls and I was like I want that for myself okay <laughs> So the next item I picked up from Zara and basically the reason why I placed my Zara order in the first place was for this gorgeous two-toned sweater. By the end of this video you may notice that I have a thing for two-toned styles just like this one. I don't know I just feel like it's if you know me I always say that my style is very classic and practical but with a twist and I think this is an example of my style. You just have like a simple grandpa style sweater I'm wearing it here in a large and they you know they add a little pizzazz by doing the whole two-tone thing I first saw this on Britney from pockets and bows and I was like hmm I like that on her so as you guys can see this style is supposed to fit super oversized obviously I'm wearing a large here if it's me I would say if it's me more true to size than oversized it is does have like a almost like a tunic style length but if you wanted you could definitely you know tuck it into your bra and make it more cropped or into your jeans you can wear it as an actual cardigan I just decided to button it up super simple and you could always do like heel a pump jeans you know 
know, like a leather skirt, leather pants. This is one of those pieces that can work for work and the weekend. So let me know how you're feeling about these two-tone styles. Are you for it or against it? The fabric is made out of something that feels more like a wool mix. So there is a slight itch, a slight uh, texture to it. I won't call it an itch, but there is some slight texture to it. So if that kind of bothers you, I just wanted to let you know, FYI, it has the ribbing detail around the collar going down the sweater and also has the same detail around the wrist. It gives me like, if you're looking for cozy, warm winter, let me have a cup of cocoa or some like tomato soup and just cozy up. That is the vibes that this sweater is giving me you could also just wear it open of course and then throw in like maybe a charcoal color tank or even like this I don't know what we're gonna, gonna call this Kelly green color tank as well underneath or you could do like I have on black jeans you could do a black on black base because the buttons are mm, what I call these charcoal yeah, I feel like these the buttons kind of skew black, but they're more of charcoal. Hopefully you found this video useful and that you found some gems that you're gonna be picking up. Make sure to click open the description box down below because I will be putting direct links to everything I featured in this video. And if perchance in this video that I did not link, make sure to click the shop my outfits link and it'll take you to where I link every single thing, okay? And while you're there, I suggest you go ahead and download the app because when you do you get access to things like um, price alerts or so when there's a sale you get notified and you are also able to search through my profile for anything snakeskin boots sweater dresses you name it make sure to download the app and I'm not on YouTube you can always find me on Instagram where I share daily ish fashion and style inspiration and throughout this holiday season I'm also sharing daily deals not just in fashion but in home I'm sharing gift ideas and so much more so come on down and join the family and when you do make sure to say hi okay make sure to say hi and let me know you're from YouTube okay because if you just say hi girl <laughs> I need to know I need a little bit more context so just let me know that you're from YouTube if you enjoy this video I'm sure you will enjoy this video and this video don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Until next time, stay blessed.